Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Liz and I make beauty and fashion videos on here. Um, I've been making videos for like a while now, but I haven't been really good about uploading. So I'm trying again one last time. And so from here on out, I'm going to try to upload two videos a week. We're going to see how this goes, but I'm really going to try my best. So for today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys all about my favorite places to shop online. I've made up a list of my five favorite places to go online and find clothes and shoes and accessories. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first place I want to talk about is ASOS or ASOS. I think some people call it ASOS, ASOS. I call it ASOS. Um, but it is a, I believe a UK um, based company, but they do have a site for the United States and they have shipping to, to the United States. And I love ASOS. I think ASOS is especially good for trendier pieces. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more on the expensive side, but they do have a lot of stuff that's on the more inexpensive side too. I grabbed some of my favorite things that I've gotten from ASOS recently to show you guys. Um, they are always running sales, so I say you should always wait to buy something um, once it goes on sale because I feel like everything goes on sale at some point. Also, if you're a student, you get a 10% discount on everything, which is amazing. You just have to sign up through uni days. So if you're a student in college, you can definitely take advantage of that 10% discount. The first thing I have here are a pair of over the knee boots. They look like this. I really like that they have a kind of a chunky heel and I got these for $20 insane I'm pretty sure these were originally like 60 something dollars um, but because they were having a huge sale on all of their shoes I was able to get them for $20 which is insane one of my favorite things about shopping on ASOS is they have free shipping and free return shipping so you can order something in a couple different sizes a couple different colors figure out what you like the most and you can always return something completely free of charge. That's like always the biggest thing that I'm really hesitant about when it comes to ordering online is if I can't return the item for free, I'm really hesitant to order it because a lot of the times when I buy stuff online, it never really fits me exactly how I imagine it. Another thing I have here are a really cute pair of jeans. These are by Pretty Little Thing and they're just some two like two-toned denim jeans. I will say, um, with all the pants that I've ordered from ASOS, pants are normally something that's really difficult for me to find um, pairs that fit when I order online. And with ASOS, I've had really good luck um, just using their size guides that they have online. Plus, another thing that I love about ASOS is for every single item, not only do they have pictures, they also have a video showing a model walking in it. So that's really helpful for kind of figuring out what things are gonna actually look like on. The last thing I grabbed to show you guys are these black booties that I absolutely love. Again, I'm pretty sure these were like really super discounted down to like $20, $25. So on ASOS, there are some more expensive things, but if you kind of take your time and wait for things to go on sale, you can find some really, really good deals. The next site I wanna talk about is Boohoo. Boohoo is definitely on the cheaper side of things that you can find online, but I find them to actually still be a pretty reliable and good site to buy from. I've never bought from Misguided or, um, I can't think of the other one. But there's a couple websites that I think are similar to Boohoo, um, where they offer, offer kind of a lot of like basic things and more trendy things, but the material always looks kind of iffy to me. But with Boohoo, I've actually had really great success. Two pieces that I've gotten from Boohoo. First thing I have here is just this plain white t-shirt that has this really cute um, little detailing on the neckline. And then this other thing that I have is this really, really cute off the, like one shoulder, um, just cute little spring top. I think that Boohoo is really great for finding trendier, more inexpensive pieces. I would say that a lot of stuff on Boohoo, if you buy it at the right time, you can get it even cheaper than like Forever 21 and H&M. Um, just like ASOS, you should always wait to buy stuff on sale at Boohoo. A lot of the time stuff is like 40 to 50% off. So I definitely would not buy things full price from Boohoo. Make sure that you wait for a sale first. I think Boohoo is such a great place to find more unique things. Um, because I believe Boohoo, again, is a UK uh, based website, I feel like they kind of have more unique things than what people in the United States kind of are buying, if that makes sense. I love checking out their website. They also have really cute shoes and really cute bags too. Um, it's really a good way to kind of try out some trends before you maybe invest some more money into it. The next store I want to talk about is Lulu's. 
I freaking love Lulu's. If I had so much more money, I swear I would buy all of my clothes from Lulu's. But unfortunately, I am a broke college student. So when it comes to Lulu's, I mainly just buy stuff from their sale and clearance section. They do um, a couple big sales a couple different times a year. And so this past, I think it was like November or December, they did a really big sale. I think it might have been their Black Friday or Cyber Monday sale. And I picked up a couple of dresses. I'm in a sorority, so I have a bunch of like different date parties and events that I go to, so I'm always looking for cute dresses, and Lulu's is like my favorite place to buy dresses from, because you can get them for relatively inexpensive, and they're such good quality and so cute. So first I have this black dress, I haven't even worn it yet, I still have the tag on it, but it's just this really cute wrap dress with a ring detailing, just a really cute basic little black dress, and then this other dress I am obsessed with and I cannot wait to wear it. It is this like full length long um, floral with like these polka dots that has ruffles and I think it's so cute and the back is all strappy. You can kind of see that. So yeah, Lulu's is my favorite place to go when it comes to shopping for dresses online. If you need a dress for any sort of event, date, like whatever you could possibly need a dress for, I promise you that Lulu's will have the dress that you need because they have really cute casual dresses and they have more like fancy formal dresses. Also Lulu's has really cute shoes and really cute accessories. I've gotten a couple of different necklaces from them that I absolutely love. Next I have to talk about Forever 21 because what broke girl does not like Forever 21? I swear like probably a quarter of my wardrobe is stuff from Forever 21. And I know that all the places that I'm talking about for the most part are fast fashion retailers. I just try my best to buy stuff that I know that I'll be able to wear for a while. So I try to buy stuff that's kind of the better quality stuff that's a little bit more timeless than the super trendy pieces. But I will say that Forever 21 is really a good place to get the more trendy pieces. But also they have pretty good basics. I really like getting my like going out tops from Forever 21. Like for example, I have this long sleeve, like rusty, dark, I guess brown, orange, kind of deep V little crop top. I think Forever 21 has such good going out pieces that are so cute. They always fit really nicely and they're always really inexpensive. Like this one was probably between like 10 and $15 and it's just a super cute, um, really good piece for layering. We'll say one of the downsides about Forever 21 is that they, I personally don't think they have sales as frequently as some of the other sites that I've talked about. And also with Forever 21, um, I feel like a lot of times when the stuff comes, it doesn't look exactly like it did um, in the pictures online or the quality just isn't as nice. Like I've had issues sometimes where I've ordered tops and they come and the hem is a little bit wonky. So with Forever 21, I kind of do prefer shopping in store, but I feel like online, especially with um, the reviews that you can see online, that helps a lot. Another piece I have is just this really cute, um, like faux suede basic black tank top. Um, like this, I think this piece looks really nice, really classic, um, but it was definitely like $12 from Forever 21. So Forever 21 is a really great place. Um, if you do your digging, you can find some um, really cute pieces. I do try to stay away from the accessories on Forever 21 just because I think they are not good quality like at all and I like to buy accessories that I know are going to last me at least a couple of seasons. Mainly from Forever 21, I like to get dresses and tops. I kind of stay away from denim and other sorts of things. Last, but certainly not least, I want to talk about American Eagle. I know that American Eagle was like all the rage in like middle school and high school, and I still really like American Eagle. I don't buy my denim from them anymore, um, just because I found other places whose denim I like more than American Eagle, but I still really do like the tops and the dresses that they come out with. For example, I like to buy all of my basic like v-neck t-shirts from American Eagle. They do a line that's called Soft and Sexy, and I swear these are the softest t-shirts you will ever try on. They're really nice and stretchy, and I've had this one probably almost for a year now, and it hasn't pilled at all. It's still the same color as it was when I bought it. So just really good quality items. I also have this really cute little tank top here. I really like kind of the vibe of American Eagle. It's kind of that laid back sort of 
artsy vibe almost, but I really like it. I think it's a really great place to find some basics and some good layering pieces. They do a lot of sales too, so definitely wait and find stuff on sale. They also always have a really good clearance section where they have tons of stuff on clearance. Also, Aerie is my absolute favorite place to buy underwear from and they always have a really great deal on underwear. I'd definitely check out American Eagle if you want some really comfy and cute basic tops. All right, well that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it and I hope you check out some of these websites. Please leave a comment down below if there's any online shops that I didn't talk about that you think I should have that are your favorite online places to shop. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.